So it's embroidered, right? I really, really love this mug. I risked this being sold out, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Truly beautiful pair of ears. No, I thought it was so cool. It just made me really happy, I'm not gonna lie. Hello friends, welcome to a brand new video. If you guys are new, I'm Sarah Grace or SG. I've been going to Disney quite a bit. For those of you guys who don't know, I am a Orlando local, so I live about 20 minutes away from the Disney park. I'm an annual pass holder, and I've just been picking up a bunch of little like random goodies lately and I thought it would be fun to put together a little haul video to give people inspiration if maybe they're coming to the park soon or if you guys just want to see what fun stuff has been in the parks lately this will be fun for that too. Before I get into the haul I want to show this little outfit that I put together for a TikTok but I am obsessed with it for a park day. And that's what I'm wearing for the haul but I just got this court rival skirt from Lululemon in the mail and it has this fun little layering to it and it's got such cutie princess vibes but it's an athletic skirt so it's great for a park and I cropped it with this dreamer tee that I have from Bohm and I throw in a little stony fanny and my millennial pink ears and I just think it's so stinking fun. Okay so first up is actually an item that's gone kind of viral on TikTok and so I had a tough time finding it once I found out about it. Um, it is an ear holder keychain so it's literally a little keychain i'm looking for the pink one the Minnie mouse one but all i could find was mickey for now but it's got a snap on there and so you just take your mouse ears and put it through like that to snap there we go so you just do your mouse ears like this and it's so cool because you can add it as like an accessory like if you're tired of wearing them on your head and you want to wear it on your bag your backpack or whatever and then it's a great place for them to go to where they're not getting shoved in your bag to risk getting crushed or anything so this is super fun and like i said it's been going viral on tiktok so it's been a little bit harder to find i got mine at hollywood studios and yeah, just a fun little trinket. The next item is one that I have been wanting. Also, we'll say I have a rule whenever I find something that I like in a Disney gift shop. I have to see it and love it three times before I purchase it because I live here and I go all the time. So if I bought everything, I would have literally a house full of Disney stuff that I would never use. And also I should note, I got most of this at a 20% discount because of my pass holder discount. So, and this has been literally over the course of like two months, I've been gathering this stuff. So do with that what you will. The next item I have is this little Alani character headband. I love Duffy and Friends and I've been wanting this for quite some time and they sold out of it for a while at the parks actually so I was so happy they had it back in stock and I could get it and I just think it's so cute I think that I will probably get a good bit of use out of it too it just made me really happy I'm not gonna lie this was a piece that truly just like made me happy next I have another pair of ears that I grabbed so I got my nails recently done in the Hailey Bieber mermaid style shout out to my people at Embellished by Miriam in Orlando for doing such a fabulous job on these and I really wanted a fun pair of mermaid ears to go with them so I could take like a cute picture for my feed like I'm not gonna lie this was definitely like a purchase so I could take it for my Instagram feed Disney has a big collaboration going on with Bobo Bar and so these are part of their princess inspired ear collection and this is obviously Ariel but I loved the pearls on the seashells and the pearl in the middle and I thought they looked so good with my nails and they're just a truly beautiful pair of ears so I'm excited to style these for the parks very soon again this is one that I've been wanting for quite a bit of time this was a long time coming purchase that I'm so glad I actually finally pulled the trigger on next is another kind of trinkety item this is one that I did not give myself the three time rule but my friend Kaylee was here on vacation and I saw it on her phone she got it in the her hotel gift shop and then when we went to find it in World of Disney they were sold out so I was like oh I don't want to risk this being sold out so I went ahead and grabbed it but it's this fun iridescent Mickey pop socket and I haven't had a pop socket on my phone in the longest time and I just thought this one was so pretty and so fun and would be an easy way to like make a really simple Disney phone case so I love this and I was really excited to find it. For those of you guys who might not know also, I think I've now talked about this in the last three YouTube videos I filmed, but I'm a pretty big Star Wars girly and Wesley, my husband and I are watching through the Star Wars series and I loved Kenobi and I love Darth Vader. He is like... He's my guy. When I saw all the Obi-Wan Kenobi merch they came out with, I was obsessed with it all. And I allowed myself one piece 
I got this really fun t-shirt. It features the battle scene between Obi-Wan and Darth Vader and I don't know. I thought it was so cool and cute and I kind of want to like girlyfy this and wear it to Galaxy's Edge. Like maybe wear a fun like hair bow and maybe belt it, do some fun bikers under it. But I want to style this cutie for the parks, of course. Really happy and excited about that find. Next is so wesley and i collect mugs i feel like everything kind of needs like an explanation behind it anyway wesley and i collect mugs and i don't allow myself to get mugs super often because we have such a vast mug collection like i have to really really love the mug and i really really love this mug i've known that i wanted this mug for the longest time it's the 25 birthday cake castle mug and i turned 25 this year and so i don't know i thought that that was special to have so i grabbed this mug i'm excited to drink out of this it is a huge mug but i think it's really fun and it's pink it's a pink castle cake castle what more could you want in a mug okay so lastly i have two clothing items the first of which is a pullover sweater that i got on my staycation to pop a couple of weeks ago it is this Mickey Mouse Walt Disney World pullover that I have been searching for since February. They were sold out of it for the longest time and they actually came out with a separate variation of this in gray, but I wanted the OG cream version. I like that it's like a nice neutral sandy color and then the Mickey Mouse is so cute and I love the blue Walt Disney World. It was just perfect and I thought honestly this would be so great going into autumn as well. So I had to get it in a double XL. I like my sweaters to literally fit me like dresses so I thought this would be super fun to wear and to have and I love buying like a really fun special souvenir on all of my Disney staycations and so this was my sweater from my pop staycation okay so last but certainly not least is an item that again I told over for the longest time and I got this piece because I think this will be super fun to have to pass down to my kids at some point my kids that I don't have yet but it is a Mickey Mouse Letterman jacket and I don't have a lot of like truly just like special Disney clothing pieces that I do want to keep to pass down to my kids. Like obviously I have like my ear collection and I have different t-shirts and stuff but something like this that could truly be like mom wore this when she would go play at the parks when she was our age kind of thing. And I think it is just adorable. So it's embroidered, right? The Mickey Mouse and the 1928 are embroidered on the front and then it's got embroidery on the back. And I have to stand up to give you guys kind of a sit up a little bit to give you guys the full effect. See, it's just so cute. And it's got, the back is embroidered too. It's just so much fun. And I have this gold dress that I really want to style it with because I think this would look so cute styled over something that's maybe a little bit dressier. This was a piece that was a little pricey. Like I really, really had to make sure that this was something that I wanted, but I'm so, so glad that I ended up making the investment in this piece. All right, friends, well, that is it. That is all of my little Disney items that I have been grabbing lately. Let me know if you guys liked this type of kind of cumulative haul video from the parks. I typically would just show these in the middle of whatever vlog I was filming at the time, but I think it's kind of fun to conglomerate them all into one video as well. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please be sure to do so. And then if we're not already friends on my other socials, I'm the Sunny SG on Instagram and on TikTok, and I would love to be friends with you guys over there as well. I love you guys. I mean it. I hope you have a sunshiny rest of your day and I'll see you in another video very, very soon. Bye.